You know, one of the things that I think is important as Christians is that we all get the understanding that we're all evangelists in a sense. That everywhere we go, we're to share the gospel. A lot of times we think that we have to go out and do these major outreaches and that the only time we can share the gospel with other people and with people who are hurting and broken and lost is, is, is if we go on an outreach team. And yes, there's a time and place for that. But you know, everywhere that we go, we are to be the salt of the earth. We are to be the light. Who puts a, a light on a hill and then puts a bushel over it? God called us to be lights into a dark world. So I want to say that everywhere we go, we should evangelize. Our life is an evangelizing testimony that we share with people. And it's important that people see Christ in us. I know, I always walk around. I've got Bible in my hand. Because when, I see, when people see me, I want them to see the Christ that is in me. And when I'm in a, I always carry a Bible anyways. But when I'm in a bind and I want somebody to pray with, I'm going to go find the guy that's carrying the Bible. Whether I believe in God or not. So that's the kind of example I try to live. And I think it's important that we get out of this mindset that it's somebody else's job to reach others for Christ. I think it's important that we really focus on what God is calling us to do. I just gave a sermon on Sunday about gifts. Um, the gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. And yes, some people have the gifts to go out and evangelize and get up under the bridges and walk the train tracks. And that's not for everybody. And I get it. That's just where my heart's at. But... Uh, everybody goes to the grocery store. Everybody goes to T-Ball. Everybody has some place that they go where they're around people who aren't believers. And you don't have to quote a bunch of scriptures at them. You don't have to tell them and beat them over the head with a 15-pound Schofield, as my pastor used to say. You just let your life be an example of who Christ is. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to preach a gospel and your life isn't living the gospel you're trying to preach, people ain't going to listen to you. Just be an example. Take some time out of your day today just to go and say, hey, you know what? You know, Jesus loves you. And one thing that I've learned through all my years of being out in the streets and praying with people is I've never had anybody really turn me down when I said, can I say a little prayer for you? Just a little prayer. You know, you don't have to quote scripture and you don't have to beat them over the head and you don't have to make them feel condemned. Look, you don't have to tell a drug addict they're a drug addict. They already know. Jesus didn't say, hey, go into all the world, find all the drug addicts, find all the homeless people, find all the alcoholics, and tell them what their sin is. I guarantee you, as an alcoholic or a drug addict, they know what they're addicted to. You, they don't need me or you or anybody else telling them the problems they have. What they need is some light. What they need is some love for somebody to share Christ with them. Share the gospel. And you may not be able to quote scripture or, or understand everything you need to know about the Bible, but you have a testimony. Share your testimony. Just share your testimony. We all have a testimony. I have a story. You have a story. Everything that I went through, all my time, the years I spent in prison, the going up in gangs, fighting, all that stuff that I've been through. Hey, there's so many people that need to hear that, that there's a way, there's a hope. But they won't ever know if we don't ever go. So as you're out today, walking around, doing your, going about your daily business, shopping, whatever you're doing today, let your light shine. Be an example. Just tell somebody, you know, Jesus loves you. If you were the only one on earth, he would have still died for your sins. Hey, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. My name is Tim. I'm the pastor at Light Christian Center. If you don't have a home church, Hey, come and join us. Give us a year. We're all about people. We're all about loving people. And we're all about winning the lost and developing the saved. God bless you. Have a great day.